Hello and welcome back to my channel. Those of you that are on my channel for the first time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. And welcome to this awesome channel, Birth and Bosses with Felicia. For those of you that are already boss buddies, thank you so very much for always continuing to watch and comment and share my videos. Okay, guys, so this video is going to be tailored to people who are still having trouble making a traditional bow, but want to take their gift baskets up to another level and not just have the plastic or the shrink wrap um, on the bag without a professional looking finish, okay? So what we're going to do is um, show you guys how to do that. And this way right here is a simple yet still elegant bow um, or ribbon. It's made out of mesh material that you can put on your gift basket that will still give it a finished polished and allow you to um, even sell it for a few more dollars. When you have professional polished finish on your baskets, people are willing to pay a couple of extra dollars to get that professional look. So we're going to um, see how to achieve this look in this video, okay? So guys, also you'll get a little nugget on shrink wrapping for those of you that are still having issues. There are many um, videos on my channel that has the actual act of me shrink wrapping, but you'll get to see that again on this video if you're still having problems. And a lot of people are asking me the size of these bags. These size that I use are 22 by 30. And of course, they come in various shapes and sizes, okay? I get this size because most of my items fit in them. And the ones that do not, I always use regular cellophane wrap. If you're not experienced or not that good with wrapping your baskets with cellophane, you probably would rather go with shrink wrap. It's going to give you a more polished and professional look if you don't know how to um, get your cellophane to look like shrink wrap, okay? And what we're doing now is just Flipping it all the way through the bag. I need to put a little bit more gift tissue back here behind this cologne strip. And here I'm making a men um, UNC sports basket or sports theme run, not a sports basket. I had all my items taped down, but then that I'm moving it around, I need to adjust my tape. Make sure when you're doing your gift baskets that you're taping your items one to another or using hot, um, not hot glue, but glue dots, okay? You can even use a little dab of hot glue if you need to, but glue dots or tape works just fine for most items anyway. Just making sure I got everything where I want it before I actually get ready to seal the bag. Make sure you got a nice firm grip up top.
These shrink wrap bags, y'all, can make a lot of noise. Always go to your corner and pull it under with a piece of transparent tape. Never leave the side out because it's just going to put extra um, excess air in your bag, okay? So just tape it under the bottom. Regular hand blow dryer all the way on high. And we're going to start at the bottom. Start at the bottom, work your way up. I'm working my way all the way around the bottom before I move to the top. I touched it again. Remember I told y'all not to touch the plate. Well, this is this blow dryer anyway. I don't know if all blow dryers do that, but for safety measures, when you touch this um dryer with an object it will um cut it off for safety purposes and it'll cool the hair dryer down so we're going to just give it a moment to cool and what i'm going to do is go ahead and be cutting the excess off the top okay maybe y'all might can't see it all the way up let me try to adjust it a little bit you might can't see all the way at the top but i'm just sending off the excess you can keep that as long or as short as you like. I like to leave a little bit. Let me show you up top. I don't like to cut it too short. And then I don't like it too long either. Still haven't come back on. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back to this. Let's go ahead. We don't have no time to waste. I know I don't, and I'm sure y'all don't either. We're going to come back and finish that off, but it already has a nice polished look. We just have to finish it. Now, this is some mesh rolls that I got from Dollar General for, um, this was Thanksgiving. So this was with the fall sale. Um, so I think I paid probably either 30 or 50 cent for this. Okay. But you can get it from Michael's. You can get it from Hobby Lobby, Roses. Um, even the Dollar Tree sells the small rolls this is like the medium size rolls not a full size mesh but like a medium size i'm not sure what the diameter and the measurements are but anyway you can even use from dollar tree if that's all that um you want to spend on it you can use it from there and we're just gonna go and maybe this is about one two three maybe about four to five inches you can do more or less, doesn't matter. Depends on how thick you want your tubes to be. And the fuller you want your ribbon, the more pieces you would cut, okay? We're not gonna do it too full because this is for a man. So, you know, my thing is when I'm doing a basket for a man, I do not, um make really big and fancy bows okay if you want to that's your choice and you just roll it up till you come out with a little tube like this and pinch it in the middle keep it in your same hand as a crafter i'm sure y'all know how to use both hands at one time so just roll it and if you can't then just put it to the side you can get a clothes pin or anything and pinch it if you're not able to work with both of your hands at the same time. And just roll it up. Roll it up, roll it up, dash it in the pan. <laughs> How many of y'all know that nursery rhyme? That's from way back in the days. So just keep um, rolling it up. 
And here we have two, four, five tubes. And we're gonna go ahead and put that up there. We pinch it in the middle and see you have somewhat of like a pinwheel, so to speak. And you already have your pipe cleaner or whatever type of wire you tie your baskets off with. And just go in the middle and tie it really, really tight. Twist it a couple times and then cut off the excess pipe cleaner. And just twist it around. And there you have a cute little, a cute little um, tubular ribbon bow. I know my camera's all over the place, y'all. I'm trying to move it with one hand. But yeah, let's finish blow drying. We're still working our way up from the bottom. Always hold this up out of the way. Because if you don't, it'll crush it down. Or smash it down. Smash it, crush it, rub it down. Oh no. <laughs> we don't want it to do that. And guys, here you have a nice professional gift basket. So if you cannot figure out how to make the regular traditional bows, then you, my friend, get you some mesh material and make you some little small tubular bows to go up there and it gives it a nice, professional, clean, polished look, okay? All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.